Welcome to Simply Draw. I'm Elaine and today we are going to draw a nut hatch. So get your scrap piece of paper, get your pen or your sharpie. No pencils allowed. <laughs> it's not never a pencil, it's just no pencils here. And I have my bird book and I'll show you that today we're going to tackle this little guy right here. Now the red-breasted nuthatch is a small bird with not much of a tail and this kind of curvature and how the head blends into the back are important characteristics and these are the characteristics that we want to duplicate in our picture so anyone looking at it can say yes that's a fabulous nuthatch that you've drawn or maybe they'll say what the hell is that <laughs> anyway let's get going so we will start where I like to start which is just above the bill at the front of the head and we're gonna do a small curve for the head that's gonna blend into the back well I'm just gonna do a little curve for the forehead, small curve for the head that's going to blend into the back and we can just carry this line along to the wing. Now we'll go back up to the throat, leave a small space for the bill here and we're just going to take our line back to represent the throat keep going down a little bit and we want to get into this curve for the tummy and his bum and we'll just leave it like that for now and we'll worry about the tail and the ends of the wings in a few minutes so we can go back to the bill and we can draw this in the angle sort of determines the what the angle of the bill that we draw sort of like helps define the angle of the head so we can just put that like that sort of makes him look like he's looking forward and next we'll put in the eye not too high not too low not too far back not too far forward which makes it sound like we have to choose a perfect spot, but that's not going to happen, so let's just put it in here. And when you're filling in the eyeball, remember to leave a small white space to represent the reflection of the light off the curve of the eyeball. Okay, I don't know, well, that's not too, too shabby for our little outline. Now, we go back to our picture and we look at the special markings of the bird which we want to incorporate in our picture to help people recognize what we're drawing. <laughs> Besides just putting a, a label that says this is a red-breasted nut hutch. <laughs> okay, now I'll tell you because it's drawing is so difficult for me that when I'm trying to add the features of a bird and I see these different markings with dark and light and dark and sometimes they have a cheek patch and eye markings and and whatnot I get very easily confused so what I tend to do is I'll leave my finger on the line that I'm actually drawing so when I go back and forth between the pic the photograph and my um, sketch I don't get screwed up in actually where I am. So right now we're gonna do the dark patch for the head. And we'll notice that it begins at the bill. So what we wanna do is start at our bill and just go up. The key, I'm gonna have to keep my finger here so that I know that this is the line I'm doing. Up and around the eye and to the back of the head. And that's good enough. Now, there's this white strip here 
So the next line we're going to draw is the dark one that goes through the eye. So I have to put my finger on this line and remember that I'm going to go here from the bill around through the eye into the back. Now we want to do the bottom of that dark strip. So I put my finger here as a reminder that I'm doing the dark patch. It goes under the eye and it kind of widens to this part here to the back of the bird. Now when I look at my sketch, it's easy for me to get confused about what is supposed to be dark and what is supposed to be white. So what I'll do is if I'm going to color it in with marker later, I will actually mark the sections with my Sharpie as a reminder to myself that these are the parts that are dark. But since we're not going to be using our pencil crayons just yet or that's not really something that we need to do together, I can just quickly color these patches in so that I don't get screwed up when um, finishing off the bird. Okay, that's all right. Maybe just do a little bit of shading underneath the bill like that. Now, this bird has a, the, uh, the, both the male and the female have a very beautiful tan tummy. So we have to make sure that we don't cover all of that with the wing, especially with the angle that we've drawn him, because we can see most of his tummy here. So what we're going to do next is just add in the wing and we just want to make sure we leave some of the tummy. We'll carry it to the back and both wings fold nicely on top of the tail. So we can just add in the fan for the tail and that's kind of good enough. Now, what are we going to do about all these feathers, all these lines and markings here? Because we don't want to do too much and make it look like, oh, we're trying to draw every feather and we don't want to just leave it like blank like this because it's not quite as much detail as we'd like to have in our sketch. So, you know what? It looks okay if you just do like little letter C's, you know? It just gives the impression that's good enough for us. And we can just maybe put in a couple of lines where we see that the these bands in the wings with the shorter flight feathers are there. See? It doesn't have to be... Well, it's, it's not, it's not going to be, you know, high quality. Because we're sketching and learning, you know? And that has value too. There's our little birdie. See? I can tell that's a nut hatch. Doesn't need a label as far as I'm concerned. Okay. Well, I have to tell you that this little dip in the throat and then going through the chest into the tummy, you might think I'm making it look easy, but this took me a long, long time to learn how to draw. Because <laughs> it's not nearly as easy as it looks. Okay. Now, you know it's tricky button drawing the little feet and stuff like that. So the good thing about a nut hatch is half the time you can't see its toes. In this illustration here, they have put in the the feet underneath the bird, but 
honestly, if you just want to cheat and not do that at all, that would be cool too. Oh, but that's not learning, so <laughs> actually, I didn't say that. Okay, fun part, let's put in the branch, because I do like just putting in the branches. Just feels so productive and quick, and you can do the little bark and the lines and I don't know. Then waste time, get your brown pencil crayon and do all the shading. But because we're brave, we're actually going to put in his little toes. Now, for a bird, the center toe, the middle one, three in the front, one in the back, the middle one in the front is always like longer. So whatever you decide to draw, and remember I said before, sometimes it's just like giving the illusion of the toes is, is enough. Just, if you're going to put them in there, just make sure the front one is longer. And maybe that's too far forward. I don't know. I don't know. If you think you've screwed up and you can't erase it, which is on purpose, that's why you don't draw with a pencil, because you would just like start again and real quick sketch out another nut hatch and see you're practicing. You could actually back that up a little bit or blend it in to be part of the tree and maybe try it back here instead. But the point is they do have legs. But the leg is always they they tend to be they're they're a, a bird that is crouched and they hop along the branch. You'd never see them walking along the branch. So with in the illustration where you see the bird is crouched and the feet are underneath, this is exactly how they look all the time. And these other nut hats, you can barely see the feet. So, you know what? Screw it. This is good enough for today. With a little foot right there, because his leg, he the back toe would be here and he'd have his little leg bent. So, guess what? We deem this perfect. And there we go with our little nut hatch. So you can color in the tummy, maybe the bum's a little bit too high, but that's okay. This is all tan, like here, he's got a white throat. And we would color in his back, do some shading here, and some darker bands with his darker feathers his darker uh, wing feathers and that's it no need to listen to me anymore so um, thank you for joining me on Simply Draw I might actually like fix this up a little bit more just with some additional markings because I have to choose a thumbnail for the video and if the thumbnail looks like super crappy then nobody's gonna watch my video well, that might not happen anyway. <laughs> okay, shutting up now. Thank you for joining me. Uh, stay tuned, because I want to tackle a sparrow next time. Okay, have a great day, and uh, see you later.